Hi students, welcome to Electron Chemistry Center that is ECC. Hope you are doing great. Now, in today's lecture, we are discussing about PUC Class 11 Chemistry Annual Exam Question Paper Analysis or Blueprint. This lecture is suitable for Karnataka board students only. Why? Because PUC board is for Karnataka class 11 and class 12 students. How questions will be framed and what type of questions you will get it? What is the weightage of each and every chapter of chemistry in annual examinations? That part I am going to discuss now. Let's see. This question paper chemistry question paper comprises of 70 marks and 30 marks is for practical in 70 marks there are four sections part a part b part c part d part a is one mark questions 10 questions will be there you need to attempt all 10 questions all are compulsory there is no choice part b here it consists of two mark questions they will give you 8 questions. Out of 8, you need to attempt 5. Choice is there. Part C, 3 mark questions. Out of 8, you need to attempt 5. 5, 3 is a 15. Part D, there are 2 parts. 2 subdivisions, you can say. Part 4, out of 8 questions, 5 only you need to attempt. 5, 5 is a 25. And next, in part D, only Roman 5. Three questions will be given. Out of three, you need to attempt two questions. So total paper is of 70 marks. And remaining 30 marks is for practical. Now let's see the question analysis. Like from which chapter you will get five mark questions and two mark questions and one mark questions. Let me tell you. First chapter in chemistry is some basic principles in chemistry. In that, one mark question one you will get it, two mark question one, five mark question one. Total weightage of this chapter is eight marks. Second chapter, structure of atom, you will get two five marks from this chapter. Total weightage is ten marks. Periodic classification of elements, one mark question you will get it, one question, three mark questions you will get it, one. Total weightage is four marks. Chemical bonding. 2 mark questions are 1, 3 mark questions are 3, total weightage is 11 marks. States of matter, 1 mark question 1 and 2 mark question 1 and 5 mark question 1 and total weightage is 8 marks. Now, next chapter, thermodynamics. Here, from thermodynamics chapter, you will get 2 5 marks, total weightage is 10 marks. From equilibrium chapter, it is having chemical equilibrium as well as ionic equilibrium. One mark question will get it one, five mark questions will get it two. Total chapter weightage is 11 marks. Redox reactions, you will get it for four marks. Total weightage is four marks. One one mark question and one three mark question will get it. Hydrogen and its compounds weightage is three marks. One three mark questions you will get it. S block elements. You will get one one mark question, one two mark question, one three mark question. Total weightage is six marks. P block elements, one mark questions you will get it two, two mark question one, three mark question one. Total weightage is seven marks. Now, maximum weightage chapters that is organic chemistry, general organic chemistry, hydrocarbons. Total weightage is approximately twenty one marks. One mark question will get it one, two mark question will get it one, five mark question will get it two. And hydrocarbons, two mark questions one and so one mark question will get it one, two mark question one and five mark question one. Total weightage is eight marks. Next, environmental chemistry, you will get either two mark question one or one mark question two. Any possibility is there. Now, let's see, there is a question paper pattern. In your 
question paper part a one mark questions will be there right first question is from basic principles in chemistry this is i am giving you chapter wise questions what is the first question what is what is 13th question or what is last question from which chapter you will get it that part i am explaining you now first question is from basic principles in chemistry generally definitions like define mole define atomic mass and define atomic mass unit right or calculate the molar mass of the ch4 or co2 define molarity define normality define mole fraction or define uh, molality these type of questions you may get it second question states of matter states of matter few questions based on forces of attractions as well as right van der waals equations right for n moles of gas or for one mole of a gas they may ask you thus that type of questions third question is from chemical equilibrium chapter fourth question is from periodic classification of elements fifth one is from redox reactions sixth one is from s block elements seventh and eighth these two questions are from p block elements so for one mark questions those who want to score send them 100 percent is they have to focus majorly on one mark questions in such cases they have to be thorough with p block elements why because you are getting two one mark questions that means two marks and ninth question goc general organic chemistry that is nothing but some some principles and techniques in organic chemistry tenth question is from hydrocarbons this is the pattern part b two marks from which chapter you will get it question number 11 is from basic principles in chemistry question number 12 is from states of matter question number 13 chemical bonding 14 s block elements 15 p block elements and 16 goc here that is general organic chemistry 17 17 is hydrocarbons 18th is environmental chemistry and sometimes they may ask you this environmental chemistry even for one mark questions also but that is very rare most of the cases they will ask you for two marks only now let's see part c that is three mark questions question number 19th is from periodic classification of elements and most of the cases they will give you periodic properties like define ionization enthalpy how does it changes in period and group define atomic size how does it how does it changes in periods and groups trends of periodic properties in various periods and groups will give you as 19th question and the most important point you need to focus on here 28 21 22 these three questions are from single chapter that is chemical bonding so three mark questions if you want to attempt five five questions if you read chemical bonding chapter thoroughly you can attempt the three questions especially these questions which are from chemical bonding majorly based on few concepts like molecular orbital theory hybridization bscpr theory right these concepts as well as hydrogen bonding and types with examples now 23 redox reactions for redox reactions three marks what are you supposed to read balancing chemical equations and balancing redox reactions and 24th is from hydrogen chapter 25 is from s block elements and 26 is from p block elements now let's move on to part d that is five mark questions 27th question is from basic principles in chemistry generally basic principles in chemistry question related to empirical formula calculations molecular formula calculations or sometimes they may give you stoichiometric calculations 28th 29 both these questions are from structure of atom only and another five mark weight is part structure of atom you get it two five marks means total 10 marks generally need to focus postulates of bohr's theory as well as significance of quantum numbers and what is de broglie's hypothesis numericals and what is eisenberg and uncertainty principle and numericals based on eisenberg uncertainty principle also you need to focus and as well as numericals based on line spectrum of hydrogen 
and those are also very important as well as Hunt's rule, Aubos principle, Pauli's exclusion principle, electronic configurations of various elements you will get it in structure of atom for 5 marks 30th question is from states of matter generally from states of matter for 5 marks you will get kinetic molecular theory of gases or ideal gas equation how to derive and numericals based on ideal gas equation 31, 32 both these questions are from thermodynamics thermodynamics this question number 31 they will give you one mark question as a subdivision and next part B they will give you one numerical numerical is compulsory from thermodynamics chapter and as one mark question you may, you may, you may get like state SS law of constant heat of summation what are examples of extensive properties or what are extensive properties what are intensive properties and examples and define types of system anything they might ask you and question number 33 34 both are from equilibrium chapter only that is chemical equilibrium question number 33 ionic equilibrium question number 34 33 chemical from chemical equilibrium maximum probability is state Lee Chatelier's principle and they will give you one example how to apply Lee Chatelier principle with the one example now 35 36 both these questions are from GOC general organic chemistry you might get question from nomenclature isomerism right and 37 hydrocarbons majority of the cases very few questions are there you need to put more focus for this question number 37 especially chemical properties of benzene electrophilic substitution reactions chlorination friedel crafts alkylation friedel crafts acylation nitration sulfonation and preparation methods of benzene and even from other aliphatic hydrocarbons from alkanes chlorination of methane that is nothing but substitution reactions and Marconi capsule, anti Marconi capsule from alkenes, right? And ozonolysis reactions, and all these you might get it for question number 37. If you follow this pattern properly, right, you will get 70 upon 70 marks with no doubt, right? Those who want to pass in the examination, right, just those who are trying to pass in the PUC board examinations, in such cases. They have to put more focus on 5 mark questions and 3 mark questions. A few chapters are there. Like first 7 chapters as per your textbook. PUC NCRT textbook. That is from 1st chapter to 7 chapters. These 7 chapters plus GOC. General Organic Chemistry and Hydrocarbons. If you follow these 9 chapters. You will be in under the safe zone. You will get around say 50 marks. Right. Now it is the pattern. Right. So like this if you hope you like this video right watch this video and as well as subscribe to this channel for more updates thank you i love you